Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hey girl, hey, welcome to the group chat. So for today's video, we're back again with Greek Life episode 11. So the episode comes up with Sahana and Mani fighting. I know their rivalry, I'm familiar with it, but I'm annoyed with it. I think it's tired, I think it's wasting my time. Sahana's nose was leaking. It was leaking, it was leaking, it was leaking, it was leaking. It probably was leaking a little worse than Jaws. Yeah! What you over here being messy for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Moni, Moni has this, this demeanor that's very much like, I do what I want, how I want. I find anybody who, who has a problem with what I want to do. She doesn't really give a fuck. So it's like, what am I going to say, okay? I, I, I like Moni. It is what it is, all right? She felt like they had to finish business. They ran it. But I hate how she acts as if, like, St. Hannah is, like, super trash, though. Like, granted, you did win. You won. You know what I'm saying? Every round. But, like, St. Hannah was sticking in there. It wasn't really that bad. I've seen worse, okay? Um, and like I said, hitting a nose, blood must come out. Like, I don't understand why people be shocked when a nose is bleeding, like, bitch. It's probably the easiest place to bleed from, too. So, like, what's up? I think the origin of the fight was very ignorant. They fought for something completely separate from what was actually going on. St. Hannah's talking about the race and sexuality debate. Why are we fighting? How did the fight break out from that? Like, I don't get it. I also do think it's hilarious how, like, when it's time to run a fade, they lock everybody up to go in separate rooms. That's some real jail shit, okay? Money was funny as hell when she was like, we got another nose. <laughs> <laughs> she did get another nose. <laughs> um, I also do think it's hilarious that every time somebody loses a fight, they're trying to focus on the 100K now. Like, girl, honestly, Deja, I need Deja to go get the money bag and drop it in front of us in cash. I'm really annoyed. I don't want to keep hearing the k and I haven't seen a dollar. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Next scene comes up is, is the um, challenge is about to start. This challenge was stupid as fuck. Okay. The challenge was stupid. I don't have much to say about it because it wasn't much to say. All right. It's definitely giving summer camp. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Um, but what's funny though was before the challenge started, uh, was it was it Gucci's team or whatever? Pressure is in love, baby. Pressure was looking at Gucci like he was someone of her dreams. I'm talking rom com stairs, bitch. Hella hard eyes. I don't know what she sees, but I'm happy she sees it because I love love. Amen. <laughs> the pressure was cracking me up like, girl, focus. It's a hundred k on the line. Focus up, bitch. All right. But um. Yeah, the challenge was boring for real. Like, I, I, what, what comments do you have to say? Like, what Barbie could have tucked better. Ivory's jeans was very tight. I'm just like, babes, we could have worn some shorts. Like, what? I, I don't have anything to say. Like, uh, not just taking it very serious. Ivory's gonna, you know, Ivory takes everything serious. I was gonna skip it, but I'm like, you know what? Let's not. <sighs> Dumb. <laughs> Next up is Barbie and Nina arguing for the 11,000th time. I'm so over Barbie and Nina arguing. Y'all can't fight. I'm not sure if y'all would fight if it was in the streets. Because Nina be acting as if like, she don't give a fuck if Barbie was trans. She can still take her. But listen, Barbie, I don't know Barbie's strength capacity. I wouldn't want to fight Barbie. Yeah, Nina and Barbie arguing over nothing is irritating as hell. Like, I didn't even care to find out what they were arguing about. It's fucking boring. Barbie wanted Ivory to fight Nina for her. I'm just like, I could have sworn Barbie, I mean, and, um, I mean, Nina and Ivory was cool from my knowledge. I don't think they have an issue. It was just talking outside. I don't, I don't, I don't know who's, oh, this was stupid. Rose was supposed to fight, um, Nina from mall. What the fuck? I, girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. Maul wanted Nina to fight Rose. But Nina didn't want to do it, girl. Boo. All this is dumb. Like, uh, I'm starting to feel like they just got things going on just for the sake of having them going on. Like, it's really not giving real beef to me. Whenever Ivory has to be the mediator, I'm side eyeing y'all because Miss Hothead is telling you to calm down. You're clearly being annoying. Like, that's the only way I can see it. Like, why is Ivory mediating? Like, this is stupid. This is dumb. Wrap this up by the next episode. Amen, amen. The scene cuts to Nina crying outside. I'm just like, Nina, why are you crying? Like, everyone thinks Nina's pregnant. Yeah. I'm just like, babes, she might be pregnant. The emotions is like through the roof. I I don't have time. Okay. <laughs> she was stressing me out. Like, please. Um, 
when then she's going back and forth with Barbie, and she was like, you don't even tuck your dick right. And Barbie was like, you can suck it. Do you want, why does she want balls in her mouth? I'm like, whoa, whoa. Hey, what that mean? Bitch, I don't know how to take that. Like, bitches, I, like, like the provocativeness, I like the raunchiness, it's kind of making me bitch ill, all right, bitch. Kenzie and Naj get into it outside. Kenzie love scream talking, like, she be talking, be yelling all the time, like, and it's just be like, Kenzie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Kenzie, shut up, <laughs> please. I'm tired of hearing that shit. Kenzie just be sitting there mad as fuck, like, whatever. I really enjoy Naj this, this series. I feel like Naj was a great team captain. Probably one of the best, definitely top three. Um, Kenzie felt as if like they were accusing her of being the weak, the weak link in the in the team, or she should have done more. I, I don't fucking know. But girl, you could be wrong. You could still say your point. You don't gotta fucking yell and scream all the time. It's exhausting to watch. I could only imagine to be Kenzie's vocal cords, bitch. Relax. Queen B and Molly ends up fighting before they alluded to them fighting in the next episode. I just don't get it. Like, Queen B, Queen B literally gets paid to lose fights routinely. <sighs> I'm so tired, yeah. I would definitely, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Like, I don't know why Queen B wanted to jump in for what, say Hannah? Be serious. <laughs> be serious and then be serious again, bitch. Like, what? Maya's gonna fuck her up. Like, Queen. <sighs> I'm over it. Okay, that was episode 11, y'all. Bravo. That was episode 11. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next episode. <laughs>